What's going on my dudes, One Step here, and welcome to the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to the Joker in Multiverses. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Joker, and of course some fun strategies to keep in mind. Subscribe here for more Multiverses content, and let's get into it. I'm gonna keep it nice, simple, and easy for you. And let's start off with Joker's normal attacks. Because in Multiverses, we have normals, and we got specials. So for Joker's standing side normal, we've got a three-hit combo here. One, two, three. Pretty good damage, pretty good knockback. But the thing to note about that three-hit combo is you can cancel that anytime you want and do anything else. I like to do a two-hit, and then like an up special, or like a side special like this hit hit side special and the reason why i like to do that is because a lot of opponents will try to like dash away after that first or second hit you delay your third hit just a little bit by using a side special or even an up special and usually that next hit you use the delayed side special or whatever most of the time ends up hitting your opponent when they try dodging out of this third hit right here you just do side special instead and then they dodge into that hit. Joker's neutral attack is actually his projectile here. And Joker has three different projectiles. You'll see at the bottom of Joker's icon here, we have the heart icon. And that means our next projectile is the heart card. And the reason why that matters is they all have different properties. So our next projectile is the spade. And the spade will actually throw three projectiles instead of just one, like this. The diamond projectile, which is our next one here, will actually stick to your opponent and then explode. Like this, stick, then explode. The heart projectile is probably my favorite one because it actually goes past your opponent and then comes back to Joker and hits the opponent on the way back like this now that can be utilized two different ways one if it hits your opponent it actually pushes them towards you allowing for a follow-up combo like this or if you're far away from your opponent you can throw out the heart projectile and it'll come back to you regardless thus covering that space your opponent doesn't want to like jump towards you or anything now that does cycle out so diamond heart spade diamond heart spade so you'll learn and understand which projectile is next and what you want to do with that projectile in your next combo your next pressure or whatever it may be and that's the same in the air as well joker's dash tech is a slide and that's got really good range. Like most dash attacks do have yes, but Joker's dash attack is just a lot of fun. Man. It covers a lot of space. And just look at that pose. Yeah, <laughs> boy, yeah, His ground up normal attack is a chargeable upwards crowbar swing. And any chargeable attack is my favorite kind of attack because it allows you to charge up your attack with this allowing you to control the timing on the attack. So if you don't want it to come out immediately, but you want to like uh, charge it, then let it go. Not only does it do more damage, of course, but again, it allows you to control that timing. And more often than not, have your opponent just fall into the attack speaking of charging joker can charge his down attack as well which is these teeth and as you can see we can hold that for basically ever but you also see down there it is charging our ha ha bar and there's a reason why that matters first let's show off the attack let it go and the teeth come out and chomp chomp chomp, 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 chomp. that move does break armor by the way so if your opponent is doing an armor move that'll break it but now our ha ha bar is now gone but we can hold that again the down attack and then dash out of it and then the ha ha bar is still charged so whenever we do our down attack again it's already fully charged and that is super smart so if you like ring out your opponent when they're coming back i would get that charged up dash out of it so that way your next one is ready to rock that ha ha bar you have is shared between your down attack on the ground and your neutral air special the neutral air special is where you're your acid flower and you can charge that up as well and that shares that ha ha bar so you can do the same thing you can go neutral air special and then like dash out of it that ha ha bar is now charged so if you want to use it for the air special you can or you can land on the ground and then do down attack now while we're on the subject that air special the acid flower here when fully charged when it hits your opponent one it breaks armor but also you see that our opponent they got fire damage on them and fire damage will do damage over time so you do that you break armor then they have uh, fire damage on them you're good for a combo and that can go both ways so you can do like charge ground attack dash out of it then have already a fully charged air special like this so keep that in mind i love having a fully charged haha -ha bar at the ready so i can use it whenever i need to in any situation now his air attacks are mostly the same we have the projectile card throw in the air and the upwards crowbar now the upwards crowbar cannot be charged in the air only on the ground so if you jump an up attack you can't charge it down attack in the air does change so you don't have the teeth coming out anymore you're on a pogo stick instead and that pogo stick can be charged the side note, the more you charge that pogo stick, the higher you jump afterwards. More recovery, more distance, more spacing, stuff like that. And then a side attack in the air is a chargeable boxing glove. Really good damage and really good range too. Again, I love charging it. I love being able to control that time and whenever it comes out. So that way I can get it charged, go for my opponent, and let go whenever I need to. Like, bah! Same with the pogo stick. So down attack and then side attack. Both of them are chargeable. I love them. Now to go over Joker's special. His neutral ground special is the electric ring. That does two things. Well, it does one thing, but two different ways. It'll shock your opponent and act kind of like a parry. And that'll happen if they're too close. Or of course, if they hit you. 
that electric ring does have armor on it. So don't be afraid to throw that out there. However, it does not last a long time frame wise. So you can't just like, you know, throw it out there, then hold it and expect your opponent to hit you at any given time. It has to be within this frame right there. And there is recovery on it. So if you miss it, like right here, I can't move. That allows your opponent to then punish you if you miss. So though it's a great move, it is pretty punishable. As you saw earlier, our side special is the rocket. And that's a really fun move because you can charge it. And charging it does two things, more damage and changes the distance. I can go the distance. If you do it normally, it's just close. But if you charge, it's got a lot more range. And that's really good for edge guarding or just catching your opponent off guard. They never expect that long of a rocket. And to showcase again, you can do that in combos. This down special throws out this cape. Now what's behind the cape? Boom, there's a cannon. But there's also a jack in the box. Surprise, mother. As you see, the jack in the box does not have great range horizontally, but great range vertically. So you have to decide as the player, do you want to do the cannon for horizontal attack or the jack in the box for vertical attack? Now pressing special will do the cannon. Pressing attack does the jack in the box. That'll really keep your opponent on their toes. Those moves, by the way, are adding fire stacks to our opponent. Once they get to five, they will be on fire like this, doing fire damage over time. They're ignited. Now they're just taking damage over time. So that's not to say that you should abuse that move, but it's a good way to add fire stacks onto your opponent. And then up special is where you blow up this balloon and ride it upwards. Pretty good recovery, but the best thing about it, you can see that our balloon stays on screen. Why is that? Well, you can go up to and press down and then balloon ride it. And that does pretty damn good damage and knockback. Now you don't have unlimited balloons to do that with. So up special, both on the ground and in the air will create that balloon, allowing you to continue the fight like this. And then what's that? Oh, balloon out of nowhere what's that crazy but two things about that balloon you can only have one on screen at a time so if we try to create one more like this it's not going to create two balloons we can only have one now the second thing is either me or my ally can ride this balloon and i love having that balloon on screen because if i don't ride it immediately that's okay i can then fight my opponent create that distance then balloon ride later it's just another option to have on screen and you never know where your opponent's gonna be in just a few minutes in a few combos they might end up right by that balloon you balloon ride boom that's game as i said that is the same in the year for up special that acid flower is the neutral special in the air side special will actually twirl the cane for multi-hitting attack now that doesn't necessarily break armor in of itself but it kind of does because it's a multi-hitting attack so you're likely to break armor with that move more often than not and down special throws down kind of a smoke grenade damaging your opponent and bouncing you up a little bit again creating that space joker's got a ton of fun stuff to actually create that space and that distance in the fight he's got the rocket he's got the air down special he's got the pogo stick charged he's got a lot of good stuff the biggest things to keep in mind about Joker are what car projectile you have and how much ha ha bar you have and if you can keep that charged almost at all times like why not and as you see right here i forgot about this balloon but we got it and though that balloon is behind us we can still get on it and ride it this way that balloon will go whichever way you're facing oh also another side note that parry the electric shock with the ring that does hit your opponent if they hit behind you so you don't have to be facing them like this some more fun things i like to do with joker is side attack twice and then charge up attack so again, they either walk into my attack or they dash into it by accident or side attack twice and then car throw and then do it again. Joker is a ton of fun to play in multiverses. Probably one of my new favorite characters. Pretty simple to understand, but a great kit overall. They can do a ton of crazy and devastating stuff. Let me know down below your thoughts on the Joker in multiverses. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Is he your main or not? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more multiverses content. Like I said, take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more multiverses guides, news, tutorials, and more.